Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most profound themes in the Bible, forgiveness. Do you think you know all there is about the stories, lessons, and characters who embody the spirit of forgiveness in the Bible? This is your chance to prove it. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us spread the message of God's love and forgiveness even further. We're thrilled to have you join us and can't wait to hear your thoughts and insights as we journey through these timeless teachings together. So, are you ready to challenge yourself and deepen your understanding of forgiveness in the Bible? Let's get started. Question 1. According to Jesus, how should we treat our enemies? A. Curse them. B. Love and pray for them. C. Ignore them. D. Seek revenge. You get 10 seconds. That's B, love and pray for them. This radical teaching underscored the importance of unconditional love and mercy, extending grace even to those who oppose us. By doing so, believers reflect God's perfect love and demonstrate a transformative way of living that transcends natural inclinations. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. Question 2. How many times did Peter suggest that a brother should be forgiven? A. 6 B. 7 C. 8 D. 9 You get 10 seconds. That's B, seven. Peter suggested that a brother should be forgiven up to seven times, thinking this to be generous and in line with the Jewish teachings of the time, which often recommended forgiving three times. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Question three. How many times did Jesus say that someone should be forgiven? A, seven times. B, 70 times. C. 77 times. D. 70 times 7. You get 10 seconds. That's D. 70 times 7. Jesus told Peter, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. This response emphasized the boundless nature of forgiveness that Jesus calls his followers to embody, reflecting God's infinite mercy and urging believers to forgive others repeatedly and without reservation. Matthew chapter 18, verse 22. Question 4. How much did the debtor in Jesus' parable owe but was unable to pay? A. 10,000 talents. B. 1,000 denarii. C. 100 denarii. D. 50 talents. You get 10 seconds. That's A, 10,000 talents, an enormous and unpayable debt symbolizing humanity's sin against God. Despite being forgiven this vast amount, the servant refused to forgive a fellow servant's small debt, illustrating the necessity of showing mercy and forgiveness to others as we have received from God. Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 to 35. Question 5. 
Who asked David to forgive her in order to preserve her husband's life? A. Tamar B. Michael C. Abigail D. Bathsheba You get 10 seconds. That's C, Abigail. Abigail asked David to forgive her and spare her husband Nabal's life after Nabal insulted David. She brought provisions and humbly pleaded for mercy, acknowledging David's future as king and preventing unnecessary bloodshed. 1 Samuel chapter 25, verses 23 to 31. Abigail's wise and humble plea not only saved her household, but also highlighted the power of intercession and reconciliation. Your journey to never missing a quiz starts with the subscribe button. Click it now and stay connected with us. Question 6. Who did Joseph's brothers say had asked Joseph to forgive them for their wrongdoing? A. Judah B. Jacob C. Reuben D. Simeon You get 10 seconds. That's B. Jacob This appeal was made after Jacob's death as his sons feared retribution for selling Joseph into slavery. They hoped that invoking their father's request would secure Joseph's mercy and forgiveness, highlighting their recognition of their past sins and desperate need for reconciliation. Genesis chapter 50 verses 16 to 17. Question 7. Jesus said, He who is forgiven little, fill in the blank. A. Loves little B. Much is loved C. Little is required D. Much is required You get 10 seconds. That's A. Loves little. This teaching, found in Luke chapter 7, verse 47, highlights the correlation between the extent of forgiveness one receives and their capacity to love. Those who recognize the magnitude of their forgiveness tend to express greater love and gratitude, understanding the depth of mercy they have been shown and responding with heartfelt devotion. Question 8. What is described as the unpardonable sin? A. Lying B. Murder C. Adultery D. Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit You get 10 seconds. That's D, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. In Matthew chapter 12, verses 31 to 32, Jesus explains that every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. This sin involves a deliberate and persistent rejection of the Holy Spirit's work and testimony about Christ, emphasizing its grave and unforgivable nature. Question 9. Who did the scribes say could forgive sins? A. God B. Jesus C. The prophets D. The high priest You get 10 seconds. That's A, 
God. When Jesus forgave the sins of a paralytic, the scribes accused him of blasphemy, questioning his authority to forgive. They believed that forgiving sins was a divine prerogative reserved solely for God and were shocked by Jesus' bold declaration of forgiveness. Mark chapter 2, verse 7. Question 10. What did Stephen do as he was being stoned? A. Remained silent. B. Begged for mercy. C. Forgave his attackers. D. Cursed his attackers. You get 10 seconds. That's C, forgave his attackers. Stephen's final words were, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. This act of forgiveness mirrored Jesus' own forgiveness on the cross and highlighted Stephen's deep faith and Christ-like compassion, showing his ultimate commitment to living out Jesus' teachings even in the face of death. Acts chapter 7, verses 59 to 60. Question 11. What parable did Jesus use to illustrate God's forgiveness? A. The parable of the sour. B. The parable of the talents. C. The parable of the lost sheep. D. The parable of the prodigal son. You get 10 seconds. That's D, the parable of the prodigal son. In this parable, a father forgives his prodigal son who squandered his inheritance but returned home in repentance, symbolizing God's unconditional love and willingness to forgive repentant sinners, emphasizing the joy and restoration that comes with reconciliation. Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. Question 12. In the story of the prodigal son, what did the father do when the son returned? A. Ignored him. B. Punished him. C. Sent him away. D. Welcomed him with open arms. You get 10 seconds. That's D, welcomed him with open arms. When the prodigal son returned, the father ran to him, embraced him, and celebrated his return with a feast. This response illustrates the father's forgiveness and unconditional love, symbolizing God's joy and willingness to forgive and restore. The father's actions emphasize the theme of grace and the celebration of one who is lost and found. Luke chapter 15 verses 20 to 24. Question 13. Who did Jesus forgive while he was on the cross? A. His disciples. B. Those who crucified him. C. The Pharisees. D. The Roman soldiers. You get 10 seconds. That's B, those who crucified him. He prayed, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. This act of forgiveness underscored Jesus' compassion and mercy, even in the face of immense suffering and injustice. It highlighted his commitment to his teachings on forgiveness and exemplified the boundless grace that he offers to humanity. Question 14. Which apostle emphasized forgiveness in his letters? A. Paul. 
B. John C. Peter D. James You get 10 seconds. That's A. Paul Paul's teachings on forgiveness can be found in several of his epistles, including Ephesians, Colossians, and Philemon, where he underscores the transformative power of forgiveness in building a loving and harmonious body of Christ. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Question 15. Which book of the Bible advises you to forgive as the Lord forgave you? A. Galatians. B. Ephesians C. Colossians D. Philippians You get 10 seconds. That's C. Colossians in Colossians chapter 3, verse 13, Paul instructs the Colossian church to bear with each other and forgive any grievances they may have against one another. This command underscores the necessity of imitating Christ's example of forgiveness, fostering a community characterized by love, grace, and mutual understanding. Question 16. In the parable of the unforgiving servant, what happened to the servant who refused to forgive? A. He was forgiven. B. He was praised. C. He was promoted. D. He was imprisoned. You get 10 seconds. That's D. He was imprisoned. In the parable, the servant who refused to forgive a small debt to a fellow servant after being forgiven a large debt by his master was punished severely. The master revoked his initial forgiveness and handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he could pay off the debt. This parable illustrates the serious consequences of not being merciful and the importance of forgiving others. Matthew chapter 18 verses 23 to 35. Question 17. Who did Jesus forgive for denying him three times? A. John. B. Peter. C. Judas. D. Thomas. You get 10 seconds. That's B, Peter. After his resurrection, Jesus reinstated Peter by asking him three times if he loved him and instructing him to feed my sheep. This act of forgiveness and restoration highlighted Jesus' grace and Peter's continued role in leading the early church, despite his previous failure. This story underscores the theme of redemption and the enduring nature of Jesus' forgiveness. John chapter 21, verses 15 to 17. Question 18. What did Jesus say to the woman caught in adultery? A. Go and sin no more. B. You are condemned. C. You should be punished. D. You are forgiven forever. You get 10 seconds. That's A. Go and sin no more. When a woman caught in adultery was brought before Jesus, he said, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. After her accusers left, Jesus told her, 
neither do I condemn you. Go now and leave your life of sin. This interaction highlighted Jesus' mercy, compassion, and call for repentance. John chapter 8, verses 7 to 11. Question 19. In the book of James, what is said about confessing sins to one another? A. It is unnecessary. B. It is a private matter. C. It leads to healing. D. It should be avoided. You get 10 seconds. That's C. It leads to healing. This instruction emphasizes the importance of mutual accountability, support, and the healing power of prayer within the Christian community. By confessing sins, believers can experience spiritual and relational restoration. James chapter 5, verse 16. Question 20. What did Jesus teach about judging others? A. Do not judge. B. Always judge fairly. C. Judge others harshly. D. Judge only when necessary. You get 10 seconds. That's A. Do not judge. Jesus said, do not judge or you too will be judged. He explained that the measure we use to judge others will be used against us. Instead, he urged believers to first address their faults before correcting others, promoting humility and self-examination over condemnation. Matthew chapter 7 verses 1 to 5. Stay with us until the end of the video to see how many Bible quiz questions you got right. Don't forget to note your score and share it with us in the comments section. Let's explore and learn more about the Bible with these fun and interesting questions. Question 21. Who did Paul ask to forgive a runaway slave? A. Titus B. Philemon C. Timothy D. Barnabas. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Philemon. In his letter to Philemon, Paul appealed to him to welcome Onesimus back not as a slave, but as a beloved brother in Christ. Philemon chapter 1 verses 15 to 17. This request highlighted the transformative power of the gospel to change relationships and emphasized Christian forgiveness and reconciliation. Question 22. What is the result of harboring unforgiveness according to Hebrews? A. Prosperity. B. Happiness. C. Bitterness. D. Spiritual growth. You get 10 seconds. That's C. Bitterness. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 15 warns believers to See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. This passage emphasizes the destructive nature of bitterness and the importance of forgiveness in maintaining spiritual and communal health. Question 23. In which gospel does Jesus teach? If you forgive others their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. A. Luke B. John C. Mark 
D. Matthew. You get 10 seconds. That's D. Matthew. In the Sermon on the Mount, he states, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. This teaching underscores the reciprocal nature of forgiveness and the importance of extending mercy to receive it. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. Question 24. Who was the prisoner set free by Pilate instead of Jesus? A. John B. Peter C. Judas D. Barabbas You get 10 seconds. That's D. Barabbas Barabbas was a notorious criminal, and the crowd chose to release him over Jesus, leading to Jesus' crucifixion, Matthew chapter 27, verses 15 to 26. This event highlighted the stark injustice and the fulfillment of Jesus' role as the sacrificial lamb for humanity's sins. Question 25. Which king of Israel asked God for forgiveness after committing adultery and murder? A. Saul B. Ahab C. David D. Solomon You get 10 seconds. That's C. David in Psalm chapter 51, David expresses deep remorse and repentance, pleading for God's mercy and cleansing. His heartfelt prayer highlights the seriousness of sin and the power of sincere repentance and forgiveness. Fantastic! What an incredible journey exploring forgiveness in the Bible. How did you do? Whether you aced every riddle or learned something new, Always remember that the Word of God is an endless well of wisdom and grace, inviting us to delve deeper. If you enjoyed the quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Let's bring them along on this enlightening biblical adventure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more quizzes and profound insights into the Bible. We value your feedback immensely, so share your score, questions, or suggestions for future quizzes in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. May you continue to be blessed on your spiritual journey. See you in the next video.